Kit & Co. is a design and fabrication company that makes furniture kits. Not like the particle board kits you get at the big stores, but really unique thing in that they send assembly instructions and metal parts and you supply your own wood. It's really cool if you're the kind of person who wants a hands-on furniture making experience but maybe don't have the time or energy to build something from scratch. The cool thing is they do their design work in SketchUp. And even cooler is they sent us a kit and I think it's getting here right now. Building this is going to be a great way to experience Kit & Co's product. Plus, I know just where we can use a new end table. Let's see what they sent us. Ooh, instructions for our new side table. What kind of software they use to get that? That looks nice. These are Kit & Co multi-tools. But this is the important part. This is the actual kit part of our furniture. This is the metal that will be the base of the new side table. And, ooh, look at this, Kit & Co t-shirt. How did they know I like t-shirts? Give me just one second. All right, I think I'm ready. Let's go put this thing together. Well, overall, I gotta say, that was pretty cool and kind of fun. Cooler part, though, is the guys at Kit & Co. invite us to come out and see where these kits are made, so I think we gotta go check that out. We're here in Casanova, New York, to talk with Chris Ryan, Tim Ryan, and Ben Cook, founders of Kit & Co. They invited us to Ben's house to talk a little bit about how Kit & Co. started. Hey, I'm Ben. Come on in. Hey, I'm Chris. Chris? Hey, I'm Tim. Tim, thanks for having us. Absolutely. Thanks for coming out. Tell us a little bit about Kit & Co. What does Kit & Co. do in your words? We were just seeing a lot of furniture that we didn't like. It was sort of disposable, cheap, or it was really expensive. We basically developed a lot of this hardware as a way to help ourselves build our own pieces of furniture without having to have a lot of shop space or a lot of tools. So we provide the stuff that we think is more unique and we provide it in a nice dense box of steel. It's up to you to choose what kind of wood, what kind of finishes, and you know, whether it's from a specific joinery uh, need for like a, a two-sided or a three-sided connection um, or a type of table that we're looking for. The sort of general theme is always flexibility and customization. Like that's what we're really trying to do is help the customers really make their own cool product. So if there's a new product, a new kit you want to create, how does that work? Where does, where does that idea come from? I would say I definitely jump right into, you know, three-dimensional modeling to just really start just testing and really letting ideas go, you know, working quickly. You know, because the 3D models are so easy to, to iterate with, it gets in there really quick. Um, and then we'll prototype really quickly as well because we're just assuming we have to, you know, iterate. But it allows us to basically be building the types of product that we want to be creating to the mm -hmm. quality, to the specification that we want and constantly sort of be pushing the product and the quality of it and what we want to see created. I thought the instructions were very clear, good illustrations. The 3D models in particular allow you to kind of annotate and explain, you know, mm -hmm. how it's supposed to go together. Everything that you see here is available for download on our website. You can download it as a couple different file types for whatever you're using uh, as a 3D modeling program, and you can mock up your own thing. Whatever software you're using. SketchUp, <laughs> SketchUp happens to be one of them, yeah. So if somebody has uh, a wood slab or something like that and they want to see you know what's going to work like, look like on these legs or something like that they could actually just go grab your stuff prototype it digitally yep. before they even order a piece products like sketchup i mean that's what we have used predominantly and that's what a lot of people have access to mm -hmm. and we offer that as a one of the download types just like a lot of people out there we like having cool things that we've built ourselves that have a story. People go and do their own project on top of it, and that's when it's the best. 
That's awesome. Yeah. So Ben, you've actually made a lot of the furniture around your house. I was wondering if you could walk me through and show me some of your pieces. Yeah, absolutely. Love to. So we've got this table here. It's kind of a live edge maple. It's three eighths steel rod bent. Very nice. So the, the cobbler's kids do have shoes as it happens. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course the, the original basic board kit, basic board table, reclaimed cedar from a hundred plus year old silo. One of the cool things about this is every board was stamped with a number and a letter so that they knew how, how to put it together in sequence. And if you look closely at the milling of the tongue and groove, it's milled on a little bit of a cant, so when you stand them up and put them together, it makes a tight fit in a circle. In oh, a wow. Cylinder. All right, Chris, well, let's let's take a look at some SketchUp models and see how you design the parts for Kitten Coat. Our designs, whether it's hardware or a piece of furniture, kind of start in a file, something like this, where we're really just very quickly just trying different things, testing dimensions, testing whatever the idea is, just as quickly as possible, just to try to hone in on um, the direction forward. So this is a leg, obviously. It's its own SketchUp model mm -hmm. that we can use as a component and drop into kits that use that leg. For us, as we're working in uh, making drawings, as we change that original model, it will update the drawing. And, you know, for us as a small company, that kind of sort of streamlined process is really, really helpful because without that, um, it's just so so much labor to just draw things. And right. so it allows the feedback loop to be really quick. So today we're in Syracuse, New York, and we are headed to the kit shop. Uh, and first we're gonna stop at one of our vendors where we're having a bunch of hardware powder coated and some of it uh, our new prototypes that we haven't actually even seen yet. Kind of a lot of new stuff today, so you guys are here on a very exciting day for, for the kit crew. This is basically everything we've been talking about. Taking that initial concept, proving it out through design in 3D modeling, and then now actually prototyping, getting fabrication done, and we're gonna actually be able to hold a piece that, like you're saying, about a month ago was just an idea. Child doors. It's the kind of service we provide for our customers here at SketchUp. I appreciate that. <laughs> the heavy lifting portion of the day. That's right. They've already got their red markers fired up to write what they want to change about this batch and how to make the prototypes even better before going to production. This idea morphed into the wider plate and then, you know, we didn't make it a square, we made it a triangle. Again, because it helps with the stability. Oh yeah, that's what I'm. Oh that's, man, that looks. <laughs> this, this is, this is, this this is, is better. <laughs> this is gonna last forever, right this here. This is this is better. Yeah. So this is the the current leg, and then this is the prototype, the new leg. And you, obviously, you can't feel it, but uh, it actually feels lighter and just as actually a little sturdier. So I can actually squeeze this, flex that together. This one's not moving at all. I mean, this has got to be 30% of the weight. And this doesn't look bad, but that's cool looking. Cool. I mean, that that looks cool. Woo! Woo! Like three eighths from the edge. Okay. The because we're moving it at a 45 to mm -hmm. the side, I don't know how far it needs to move in, yeah. but I'll just offset it, and the resulting dimension will be what it is. Yep. But I think we definitely put emphasis on these and see how it plays. Like, this is the future. To see the, where that goes from that weld right there to just invisible. Good grinding, good sanding, good finishing. Good golly. <laughs> <laughs> Big thanks to Kitten Co. for inviting us out to show us their design and fabrication process. Do you use SketchUp for design or fabrication or know somebody who does? We would love to hear about it. Let us know. And thank you. <laughs>